if you have someone in your workforce who doesn't you know, meet your values, you could call them toxic. Toxic in that their behaviours are spreading around the firm, negative. We talk a lot here about mood hoovers and fun sponges, and I absolutely love that. I use that for my under eights, you know, football team as well, because they, they get it, because you get it. If you've got a person in the team that's going to bring everyone down, you know, do you want them? I think I know, but I'm interested to know what's your view on mood hoovers, toxic performers. What would you suggest that business owners do if they recognise they've got someone in their business like that? So get rid of them quickly, uh, right. I guess, is, is probably the answer. I, I say that a little flippantly. I think there is always opportunity to talk to people about, uh, about how they behave um, and the vision, mission, values and behaviours allows for that. It, it actually provides a, a forum for it. You would like to think that when approached, you know, some can change their behaviours. I've, you know, I've seen people change. And I don't think it's just about that particular individual at that particular point either. It's, it's, it's more about the business and the way in which that negativity radiates throughout the business. Uh, once you start to understand that, you realise how, how detrimental it can be to the business. Uh, and could, and this is where it becomes really interesting, could result not in that particular person leaving, but somebody else because yeah. they're not happy with those behaviours. So, um, and that other person that leaves might be somebody that is actually the one that you want to retain, the one that you want to keep, the one that you want to 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 point to as the one that exhibits the right values and behaviours. What you're saying really is that your your values, in a sense, are basically the behaviours that you're willing to tolerate and that you're not willing to tolerate. Would that be fair? It would be fair, but I do think you're painting a negative picture of behaviours because I think I think I think um, I think the attitude that we should be having towards uh, behaviour is really pointing towards the positive stuff. Right. Okay. Um, so yes, they do give you an ability to deal with poor performance. Uh, you know, on the flip side of that, I also think it gives you the ability to deal with high right. performance. It's a very easy way of being able to, to to show people how somebody who goes above and beyond the values and the behaviour set is someone that's ultimately going to going to rise up through the you know, through the through that business and uh, be increasingly important to it.